What's up? It's Andrew with BDAT Production and Publishing, bringing you guys a brand new YouTube video. In this video, what I could do is I could do two things. I'll pull up a sample that I made and I'll show you guys how I made it and kind of like the process. You know, I'm not making it from scratch, so I'm sure you guys, there might be some details missing, but at least there won't be a whole bunch of fluff. I'm just going to go in. Kind of show you the principles how i make personally i really love this subgenre of rap i hope you guys enjoy this we just dropped a whole new at royal regalia sample and midi pack so it has 20 new original sample and midis yeah midis to each melody and each melody composition 20 melody compositions get the stems to each one and you guys get the midi but we have three purchasing options you guys can choose samples midi or both obviously doing both is the best you know value you know typically the more expensive since it has both of them anyways let's pull up a sample after we pull up that sample we'll pull up a beat all right so here's a sample this one is called testing grounds it is in the at royal regalia sample a midi pack so if you guys want to cook with this one it is in that pack so let's pull it up this is a composition so we have a guitar we have a lead strings spiccato a bass line piano and then a bell so if i play it yeah it's super fire super hot fire i love this one show you the bass line then we'll go into piano so so bass line mm. then i added a piano Hey, that's pretty good. So in order to kind of get the notes like how I have them, you have to change your snap and go to th uh, third step. So essentially, I believe this is a three and four melody. So there's thirds within a four bar measure. Like the melody composition is not one, three, but it is three, four, where the one, three is within the four. I may have it wrong. But so to show you though, when you go to snap, you go there, then you go down to third step. So now you can see like the bars where it is. And like I said, if you guys buy the MIDI with the samples, because you guys may not have the plugins or the patches, then you, you know, you get access to everything. So it's a win-win. But if we were to look at it, And really, you use your bass notes. Then I, I created the chords, and you can kind of roughly see the chords, something like this. But then I shifted the notes around within the three, four measure. So then it kind of has that like flow. Don't get overwhelmed when you're like looking at this, like, oh my God, that's a lot of notes. Well, it is. So after that, bass line, piano, I add, add a spiccato. So here. Baseline is serum from the AT Beta AT Serum Bank. So if you guys want to get this base, it's in our serum bank to our serum bank in the uh, description down below. So strings on top of that, I did that just based around the chords of the piano, just to get a rough idea. And typically with strings like this, I will fade like fade in the volume. But I didn't do it this time around purely out of laziness. So after that, I added the bell. So let's add the bell. I got this bell from Pink Grills. So then after that, I added a lead. Pull it up right here. It's another serum. This is from a random pack I bought. Sam, <laughs> this sound patch. Luck, you missed this dick. All right. Why are you I, I didn't aim it. I didn't make it. And then finally we have this guitar. And as like all the melodies are in three, four. So I had the melodies go in that flow, all of them. So let's save this. Let's open up a beat that I made. All right. So now you guys are probably wondering, all right, did, did you cook up with this, uh, That's testing ground big. sample, Andrew? And I'm Impressive. and to, to answer that question that you probably were thinking, hopefully, the answer is yes. I actually did cook up with the sample. I guess it makes the most sense I play it, play like a little, little chunk of it. Yeah. 
So yeah, I mean, you guys get the gist of the beat. I created some automations for the pitch and then like EQ to EQ. And so like it goes like from a low pitch up to like the normal pitch. And then I have some effects, sound effects, and then it leads the chorus with a reverse 808, which is the same 808 that we hit with. And it's also in the same key because uh, it's a C. So that's nice. <laughs> And then we use two different 808s. So on one part of the bass melody, we have this 808. And then on the other part, we have this, this other 808. Then we add in the lead on the second half of the chorus. Not to jump around too, too much, but whenever you like cut like elements like an 808 or any element from a beat or a song, it adds level of tension or suspense. So that's why I like cutting the beginning parts a lot we go to the chorus i mean the bridge section where we add the bass line so it's like really grand that's this beat i don't really think there's really much else i should really break down let me know if you guys like these uh style beats i will actually film out a whole video where I make one from scratch if that interests you guys, but you guys gotta let me know. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully it was engaging and taught you kind of a, an idea on how to go about the regalia royal style. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment with your thoughts and be sure to subscribe and click the push bell notification. This is Andrew, BDAT Production and Publishing. Get samples of more at BDAT.com. Adios, bye bye.